What if you can automatically attract visitors to your most visited posts and products? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how by using the Monster Insights popular post feature. Be sure to check out the links we've left in the description, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and be part of the conversation. The popular post feature allows you to place your most valued content throughout your website strategically. Talk about cranking up audience engagement, you won't have to guess what your readers or shoppers like to view and what to buy, and you'll never need to worry about your best content getting buried out of sight. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with the popular post feature, and we'll cover the ins and outs of each type of popular post so you'll know which ones will work best for you. To use the popular post feature, you'll need to have purchased a pro license or above, have Monster Insights installed and activated on your site, have authenticated Google Analytics on your site, and set up the custom dimensions post type in the custom dimensions add-on. The popular post feature allows you to place your most valued content with or without teaser images. Don't worry, even if you're not great at graphic design, we've made it easy. You can choose from our professionally designed themes and styles and control the layout and style of your popular posts. You can easily preview the themes so you'll know how your popular post will look, and you can customize the colors and fonts of your post titles and product prices to fine-tune their appearance. You can use the popular post widget to display your content in either wide or narrow formats, or you can display your products using either a grid or list-style layout. If you want to use your own unique style, that's no problem. You can override our built-in styles with your own with just a click of a button. Now, once you settle on how your popular post should look, it's time to see which of the three types of popular posts that you'll want to use. You can display your popular post inline right inside your page or post body. You can show off up to 10 of your top posts in a widget and even place a popular post widget in your footer or sidebar. Or you can display up to 10 of the best selling items on your single product pages. Now that you've figured out which kind of popular post that you want to use, you'll want to hone in on where you want to place them. Now you have three options for selecting which popular post to display and how to sort them. Now this gives you a lot of flexibility in determining how you want to define your popular post. Now a popular post can either be a post with the most comments, the one that's most shared from your shared count account, or a randomly selected post from a curated group of posts that you've selected. And you can see the link in the description for a handy guide that you can use. Now, since you have a pro subscription, you can switch on the automated plus curated mode that displays the top five posts from the last 30 days according to your Google Analytics property. We'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. All right, next we're going to show you how to insert your popular post with surgical precision. For inline popular posts, you can set a number of words to display before your post shows up. This allows you to decide how deep into the content your reader gets before they see the link to your most trending post. You can even enable the multiple entry setting to show your inline popular post more than once for longer articles. Want to only show inline popular posts on certain post types or exclude them from specific posts altogether? Well, you can do that too. You can choose which post types to include and which specific posts to exclude from your popular posts. The popular post widget behaves just like you'd expect any other WordPress widget, so you can add them to your site's footers and sidebars. The widgets are either automatically placed at the end of each post or manually like the inline posts. And you can also choose which post categories to display. Popular products are either automatically placed at the end of each single product page, or you can place them manually using a Gutenberg block, short code, or in a sidebar. And you can choose to exclude certain product categories and exclude specific products. If you look under the placement settings, there are two modes. Automatically, where you can embed your popular post inside your content after a certain number of words, or you can switch to manual, which allows you to use the popular post short code, Gutenberg block, or widget for ultimate control over your placement. Now you can automatically attract visitors to your most visited posts and products by using the Monster Insights popular post feature. To get a special discount on Monster Insights, check out the link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.